everyone, welcome to my new um, mini series. I thought I would pick this page from Lost Ocean. I thought it was time we did some fish. Um, I thought it would be fun. So this pattern on this um, title page has basically one, two, three, four, five different fish and then it repeats round. So I thought I could do one of each and then um, the others could do the same. Um, and then maybe um, a bit for the middle. I thought it would be fun. I grabbed my um, Stedler Ergosofts um, just because they happen to be in here. Sorry for the change of volume. I'm just moving around. Um, they, um, I'm just getting a piece of paper to put under the page. Um, oh yeah, there's the nameplate page. I still haven't written my name on it. There's a video for that page. Um, anyway. Um, I grabbed the Stedler Ergosofts because they hold their point well and these are obviously quite small but I thought we could have some fun with them still and do a few um, different colours and details and things so I thought it would be good but we'll need to come in quite close so in we go we will start actually now these at the top are the right way up and they go upside down along the bottom so I think it will probably be better to start with that one right at the top there he is now i haven't really planned colors i thought each fish could be based around a different color family maybe that might be fun so maybe a pink one a blue one i don't know i haven't really thought it through too much but here is mr fish let's do him blue we've got loads of blues in this set so it might just be fun to start with some blues now this is the number 30 which is the lightest blue it's a bit glary that white isn't it and i'm going to do the main body with this what I'm going to do to start with is just put a layer down across the whole body really gently and then um, we can shade it a little bit. Um, what we'll do is we'll just darken some areas. Now it's quite hard for me to see quite what's going on. I'm just going to pop my lamp on although it's not going to make any difference because it's sunny but um, just in case the sun disappears you should still be able to see which is the most important thing. It's quite useful for me to be able to see as well though, isn't it really? <laughs> I'm doing, I chose these little fish because I haven't got loads of time at the moment. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead with my videos. Um, sometimes I, uh, I know I'm going to have a little gap in recording. Or actually yesterday I didn't record as much as I wanted so I just thought I would do a few really short afternoon ones so I feel that if I can you see yeah if I do shorter videos then I can spend smaller items I mean I can still spend enough time on each one um, doing enough details to my satisfaction rather than sort of rushing through something bigger which I don't think is so good. And I have also um, recorded some morning videos that are a little bit shorter, not really, sh not as short as these will be, but you know, just so that I can catch up a little bit and it still means you get two videos a day. I know it's nice to have two really long ones um, for some of you, but I just can't always um, manage to do that. I can just hear my washing machine. It sounds like it's um, coming to an end of the cycle. And I can also hear my son. I oh, know I can hear the water going in it. My son is creeping around as well. I have um, abandoned him today. He, when I helped him a little bit, he's um, doing a chemistry project. So uh, he asked me some questions about the referencing, which uh, I did. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm making these edges a bit darker, but still using the same pencil. Now you could grab a darker pencil. But um, I want to use the really dark shades for all the other details. So I'm just building up the colour on the edge here with this one. And I think it is uh, can be quite effective. You just have to be patient and keep going with it. And because Johanna's paper is so good, you can get down lots of layers. Which is nice. Now I think I'm going to use the same colour for the face. And this part of the face is quite simple. So... I'm just going to layer it up along the edge and put less towards I know there's a line there but I'm just going to sort of ignore it really and do the whole of the face with this colour in the background. 
in my son's doing a chemistry project. Um, as part of the A-level chemistry, you have to do a sort of practical part and you get some sort of certificate for doing practical bits or something or grade or something which is very different to when I did it we had to do a practical we were assessed on a practical bit which counted towards our final mark so he's got to write a project on aspirin and uh, he's chosen to discuss the differences between making in a factory and in a lab um, he finds that interesting which is good and uh, I was helping him actually with the referencing because he has to use the Harvard referencing system which is what I had to use when I was at university so I know how to do it so that was quite useful for him now my next blue, I'll probably use three is number three um, I'm trying to use the ones that are in the 24 set of Ergosoft um, although I've got my 36 here just for those of you who don't have the 36 um, it's also quite useful um, using um, the 24s a bit more because you can buy them open stock. I was asked the other day where you can buy them. In the UK we buy them from Colt Pens. Oh the telephone's ringing. Hold on. Hi sorry I am back now from being on the phone. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh I think I might have been talking about Colt Pens and uh, and how they do open stock of 24 Stedler pencils but only the first 24 not the new 36 um, it's a little bit um, annoying I guess that we can't get all of the pencils from them but there we go the sun is creeping across my book now I've been on the phone a long time and uh, I'm also really hungry now um, I was going to grab a snack, but uh, I shouldn't really. I ate far too much yesterday, went out for lunch, had fish and chips, and uh, came home and had a cooked tea as well, because I wanted to, um, I had to cook for the children. They didn't come with us because they were at college. And um, I'm just trying to darken the areas near the fish, like that. I'm going to do the tail in this colour as well. And again, I'm going to make it a bit, try and make it a bit darker here by on some extra layers um, yeah they um, I had to cook for them so I because the fish and chips only came with like a tablespoon of pea I um, wanted some veggies so I did a stir fry <coughs> excuse me and uh, I've got miles out of the line there haven't I never mind so uh, I did stir fry I didn't have as much as they did but uh, lots of veggies there we go. Yeah. What I'm going to do is use the darkest blue, which is the number 33, for the um, rest of the details. I'm finding it really hard to see um, this picture from the sun. So this piece here, we've got this darker here and lighter in the middle. We're going to do the same with this piece. So darker here and fade a bit. And then darker here fade a bit so it helps to emphasize this shape on these it might be a bit more tricky but we'll try it in a minute we'll do these little bits here first I think I will try to make those a little darker nearer the eye just to add some interest to our fish it looks a bit cross I think that's a little smile though maybe he's a happy fish I don't want him to be a cross fish now these um pieces here I'm going to do again try and make them a little bit darker nearer the fish it's quite tricky in such a small space just do the best you can I'm feeling cold now I was sitting on the stairs on the phone because my son was working I'm trying to not distract him too much by my chattering and uh, now I can see where I've missed a few bits with this um, number three so I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit Being a bit fussy I guess. So back to our 33 for the um, bits on the body. So I'm going to try and make it darker here near the edge. So I'm going to layer it up a bit and then lighten it 
Now I'm looking at this body as my guide so I can see this bit's the lightest. So I'm trying to replicate that with this and so make that bit the lightest. And then this end is a bit darker again. That bit's quite light. If in doubt, do it light and then you can add some layers in once you sort of have a look at it. See that bit's a bit darker. There we go. And this one again, darker here, more layers. Less here, a little bit darker on there than on there. Okay, I missed a bit. There we go. In here, look dark in here and less towards the centre. I'm going to do all this light and then think that this bit's going to be a bit darker and that bit light. There we are. Now, all we've got left, you can see the sun's coming across the page. Here it comes. Um, I'll have to shut the blind, I think, for the next one. I, could, I can't really move myself along. I can't keep moving and running away. I could, maybe if I shut the blind just a tad, we might be okay. But we've got the eye. Now, I always do the eye in the same way. I will show you. If you've seen me do fish before, you'll know how I do it. So number 80, which is our light grey. And what I like to do is put a little bit of grey, dark grey each side. Of the uh, of the pupil, and then just expand it lightly so that we've got a white bit here and here, and it just makes the eye look slightly shiny. So there is our first fish. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with the next one. As I say, I may have the blind shut. We'll see because <laughs> sun's coming in, or we'll try and move down, run away from it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, we, I know it might sound nice to have it on the paper, but you get all the shadows from the blind, the window, the everything, the tripod. It, it, it's a bit of a mess. So we'll see. But there we go. I shall stop wittering on and, uh, and finish up here. As I say, tune in tomorrow for the next one. So thank you for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>